Hello Pisces and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your Weekend Guidance Tarot reading for December 6th through the 8th. I want to apologize to you guys for last um, reading or last set of readings. For some reason, the Pisces video disappeared, and by the time I realized it, the week was already over, and it was a weekly reading. So I do apologize, guys. I am going to make up for it. I'm going to do a special little reading just for Pisces only to make up for the mishap. I do apologize. I did go to upload it, but it didn't upload completely. It's like a, it's showing a screen with a whole bunch of lines of colors on it. So, I do apologize for that, you guys, but everything happens for a reason, so bear with me. Bear with me. Also, guys, if you want to get entered into the drawing, feel free to comment your astrological sign below. I do a drawing on this channel every month for free personal reading, and I have one more free personal reading to get out there. Um... So, for the free ones, and that should be done this evening. So, all right, Pisces, soulmates, truth be told, and message in a bottle. Well, I feel like there's going to be something that's revealed about a soulmate, okay? There may be some information that guides you towards who exactly your soulmate is message coming through from that person so let's see here pisces this is for the weekend of december 6th through the 8th i think i said that so let's see here for pisces spirit what does Pisces need to see for December 6th through the 8th? Spirits, guides, and ancestors. What does Pisces need to see here? definitely going to be some information that's going to be revealed. I feel like this person has walked away from you or you've walked away from this person. There's definitely been a separation. There's healing that is taking place right now within, within yourself. It's your inner focus. Um, I feel like you're presenting yourself as somebody who has everything together, which is normal. It truly is. Everybody does that. But one thing I do want to mention here, Pisces, um, I feel like there's something that you're not wanting to see, something that you're not wanting to pay attention to. And I'm being called to, to discuss um, paying attention, paying attention a little better, um, maybe even listening to your intuition because there's definitely a situation here that has already been very hurtful, uh, very distressing. Um, and we just want to make sure those patterns aren't repeating themselves. I do feel like this has brought in balance. Um, even though it sounds a little weird, sometimes the best thing that could have happened was walking away from a situation because you don't know what you got till it's gone, right? So let's get some clarity here on the Four of Swords for Pisces. 
spirits, ancestors, and guides. Why is the Four of Swords here for Pisces? I feel like you're walking away from... Um, I feel like you've definitely made a decision. On this already. Understand that once you make a decision um, to do whatever it is, stay or go, you kind of should probably stick with that. So let's get some clarity here on the Three of Swords spirit. Why is the Three of Swords here for Pisces for this weekend? I knew that card was going to come out, but I just wanted to let it come. So I feel like there's this three of swords may have been a third party situation because there is somebody spying. I do feel like this has weighed heavy on your mind for a while. I do think that this person is the person you want to be with. I feel like there is a need here for communication. Once you make this decision, of course. So taking some time this weekend to get clear on the outcome you envision and why. So that way you can communicate this clearly to this person, okay? So Pisces, there's a lot of water under the bridge, but people change. Just be, be aware, be, pay attention. Don't ignore warning signs just because you want a certain outcome. Would age have a part to play in this? I'm not sure, but for whoever this is resonating, this is the power thought card that came out, guys. I am at peace with my age. Each age has its own special joys and experiences. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. I am at peace with my age. So Pisces, I am going to do an extended reading on this message. If it's something that you're interested in, the link will be in the description box below. Um, I am going to take a look at this. I want to take a little bit deeper look at the person and their position that they're, the position that they're expressing, the position that they're playing. And then we'll take some cards to look at how to achieve your desired outcome with the guidance and the psychic tarot, all that over there in the extended. So if that is something that you enjoy, want to get in on the information, the link will be in the description box. Also, if you guys subscribe to the channel because the message resonates, also watch out for the life plan video that I am preparing to upload here within the next week. Um, it's going to be a guided message on how to make a plan for your next year. So look for that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for all the love and support here on the channel. Liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting is all very much appreciated. If you thought the message was resonating, helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for joining. Namaste.